So number one, okay, how to simplify when you have right fractions? You can divide by each common number, so be okay. This is number three is a common number, common factor. Okay, you can say common factor too. But especially when you have a rational expressions here, always you have to express what numerator and denominator in factor the form. Always to simplify factor the form is what product form. This is already factored. 8, x, 4 plus x, they are all factors. When you have factors, common factor cancelled out. x plus 4 and 4 plus x is the same factors. It's a common, it's cancelled out. 1x is out too. So we got what? Numerator only 8, denominator by x times x minus 4. Right? You can simplify this one. All right. When you simplify rational expressions, always you need a factor, complete factor. But the number three, two x minus five over five minus two x. This is the same factor, but not exactly the same. Actually, two x minus five, five minus two x minus minus, but different order, right? I'm gonna take you the. This will look like this one. negative 2 plus 5. Okay, continue. 2 minus 5 over negative out 2x minus 5. Now you can see that these two factors exactly what? Equals. They can cancel out or cross out. But we still have a negative over here. Okay, now we are apply the formula over here. When you have over here 2x minus 5, each one is a minus b, b minus 1. B minus A, same factor but opposite sign. When you cancel it out, they create one number one there. Okay, 2x minus 5, 5 minus 2x, they have opposite order. When you cancel it out, they create negative 1. That's the formula, okay? <clears throat> uh, the next one is simplify the following rational expressions. Okay, x plus 5 x plus 7. How can you simplify this? This is a common factor. This is a common out. Yes, that is 5 or 7. Is it true? No, that is not true. X is not factors. X plus 5 is a factor, okay? Whole thing is a factor. This is a factor, another factor of here. That's not common. So you cannot simplify. Nothing can be simplified. This is our final. Because these two express we said relatively prime. Relatively prime is about no common factor. We cannot touch anymore. <clears throat> okay, remember this vocabulary, okay? The next one over here, x plus 2, 3x plus 2. Can you simplify this one? Okay, factor. This is our final factor. 3x plus 2, no more common. This is our final fact. We have a different factors. Nothing can be simplified. These two factors are relatively prime. No more. That's our final answer, okay? The next one number over here. Undefined numbers. When you have rational functions, or when you're talking about the rational functions, what is the rational functions? Rational function, I'm going to use it f h of x. h of x equals what? f of x over g of x. Especially when you have an x variable in denominator, we said rational factor. Rational ratio means what? Fraction. Yeah? But f of x is polynomial, g of x is polynomial. So all together we said rational expressions. <clears throat> so what is the Undefined the value in the rational expressions if denominator is zero, they are already undefined. Constant over zero is undefined. <coughs> we don't know what is this value. Two over zero. What is this value? That you know, finite value we are. Maybe we approximate two is about close to zero to the right hand side. 
very large number 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 to divide by very very small positive number is what is that positive infinity or zero is what maybe you can close a very negative side negative point what is that zero 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 yeah in this case very small negative number that is negative infinity this is not finite numbers that's why this is undefined we don't get finite numbers this is undefined undefined by always what denominator is zero before you canceled out do not cancel we're gonna find the undefined one over here right only denominator is zero x squared plus 7x plus 10 you can factor this one <coughs> x plus 2 and x plus 5 that is the factored form but numerate what x minus 3 x plus 3 it doesn't matter Okay, if there are what common factor, it doesn't matter. Before you cancel that common factor, always what check it out undefined. For what value of x the number is zero? X equals negative two and x equals negative five. The function this rational expressions is undefined. Okay. <coughs> Already to check or simplify, we have memorized this, okay? Simplify the rational expressions, factor completely, okay? Numerator and denominator, you need a factor completely. After that, reduce by any common factors, okay? That's the answer. But to check right undefined one, before you cancel it out, you have to check right denominator is zero. Which expression equivalent to this one? You need to simplify. We assume the y, x cannot be 0, right? If x equals 0, that is undefined. 0 over 0 is still undefined. That is not 1. Okay? So to simplify, on always you need what? Complete factor. Numerator, x is a common, x minus 4. Denominator, 2x. This is already the product. But this is the factors that cancel out because we assume the x is not zero. So after that, what about x over four minus two? Yeah, we have x over four minus two. But they said equivalent is what is that? Different expressions, but final number always equal. When you put it there, any value of x, the result always equal. You can separate this one x over 2 minus 2 also by equivalent. Okay? So what about this one? x minus 2 minus 3 over 2, right? Common denominator 2. When you simplify, x minus 4 over 2. It's the same thing. Different expressions. When you change into the same form, it's going to be the same. Okay? But this is okay, this is okay, this is okay. They are all equivalent. <coughs> Over here, how can you simplify? You need a complete factor. All right? Okay. What is the common denominator? Numerator, uh, uh, what is the common factor? Numerator, x is a common, right? Both sides are uh, x terms. So, x cubed, one x is out, we still have a x squared minus 9. We still have a 9 there. And the bottom is what? 9 minus x squared. But we need a factor complete one more time. x squared minus 9, x plus 3 x minus 3 but the denominator looked at like this one 3 minus x that is your difference of a square right 3 minus x 3 plus x because 9 is the first numbers over here just find the common factor x plus 3 3 plus a community property it's the same factor canceled out without anything but take a look x minus 3 3 minus x is about opposite order but still, same factor with opposite order. When they cancel out, they create a negative 1 there. Now what do you got final? They are all cancelled out, that is 1. When you cancel out, they create a 1, right? So, x times negative 1 is 1. Negative x is the solution. <coughs> you okay? But you guys know this already, okay? 
Okay, one more. After that, we're going into. Okay, simple. But okay, that's fine. One more. Okay, okay. This is the last question. Then. Okay, now we need the right simple five. We need the right complex factor. <clears throat> what is complex factor? This is four terms is always what? Grouping. Factoring group. All right? Factoring grouping. So, first two is what? X squared is common. By inside, we got the X plus two. 9x minus 18 common factor is negative 9. Negative 9 is out. Inside is still x plus 2. Now denominator. All three terms as a common factor of x. So x is out. Inside is still have x squared minus 1 minus 6. <coughs> x squared is out. 1x is out. Okay, now complete factor over here. This is a common factor, right? Numerator. So this is out. Move out. X minus 4 inside is what? X square minus 9. X square minus 9 is what? Difference of two squares. You can continue to factor. X minus 3. X plus 3. Yep, you are all done. That's the complete factor. But denominator X over here. But this is still factored. Okay, can be factored. So the two numbers are negative three. Okay, x minus three and x minus two. I'm sorry, x plus two. So which one is a common factor? X plus two? Yes. Take them out. X minus three? Yeah, same order. <coughs> but we still have what? X plus three over x in the final. Okay. So choice three is the answer. Okay. Point is always what? Complete factor the form. Always what? Factor by cross side by same factor, okay? That's all. Now we have still rational okay, expressions there. How can you simplify? Just a factor. I'm going to check okay, one, one, three, only even number, okay? Or only even number is okay. I'm not going to take all other, uh, all of the number, okay? 2x cubed, 6x plus x plus 3. This one kind of what? 2 by 2 group. This two and this two. First two is what? 2x squared is a common factor, right? Both with the 2 and 6. Yeah, the, this number is 2. x squared and x squared, this number is x squared, right? So 2x squared, I'm write down over here. 2x squared is out. Inside what is that? Still we have a one more x and the second term six divided by two is still we have a three is out. This one in the last three is what? No more. That are final factors. <coughs> Keep continuing numerator. So x plus three is a move out. X plus three is a common factor inside the parentheses. Now we got two x squared plus you still have a one there, right? So just write down one. That is numerator. That is numerator. <clears throat> no denominator. Four x squared minus one. That is what difference of the squares. Difference of squares is a factor that should be what is that? Conjugate the pairs. That's right. Conjugate pairs. Conjugate pairs with two x. This looks like this one. Two x square and square minus one square. Difference of square, right? Yes. Yeah, conjugate pairs. 2x squared minus 1 first. 2x squared minus 1. The other one is what? 2x squared plus 1. No more, right? This is not square numbers. We stopped here. So which one is a common factor? will be crossed out. <coughs> I'm going to write one more time. So here. Yeah, I'm going to write one more time. 2x squared minus 1 and 2x squared plus 1. 2x squared plus 1 plus 1 is a common factor, but you still have a different factor. They are not like factors. They are not like factors. That's fine. <coughs> okay, I'm going to try number 3. <coughs> because this is what? Sum of cubed numbers. 
When you have a sum of cubes, they can be factored because this is actually a 3 cube, right? So first term is we follow the same sign plus x plus 3. Second one is what? The first number is square and first number is positive, second over here negative. Multiply these two is what? 3x and 3 squared is 9. That's the factor the form of the sum of cubes. Now, denominator is what? 3 is common, right? 3 is out, x plus 3. Now, we have complete factor. All right, x plus 3, x plus 3 is a common vector. Cancelled out. I'm going to use different color out. But x squared minus 3x plus 9, it can be factored. How to think? How to think it is factored? No, it can be. Right? How can you find the two numbers? Product is 9 and the sum is negative 3. You will never make it. Okay? So you, this is our final. This is our final. The answer is y. x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 3 is the answer. Okay? <coughs> okay, number 4. You guys know this one, right? Okay, this one. Finish this one. Uh, numerator x and y they are common vector okay x and y is out we inside the friends is the x square and outside is the y squared this is okay right all right what about denominator 5 is a common x is a common y is a common y square is not a common this is only maximum is only one y okay y is a common so 5 x y is out what they're inside x minus y is okay <clears throat> but we didn't complete the numerator because what x y times x square plus minus y square is what difference of two squares can be continue factor x minus y x plus y conjugate pairs this will be said conjugate pairs over 5 times x times y and x minus y x y x y is a common vector x and x y and y same things so this is count so what we got binder we got the numerator x plus y over 5 when you have right one factor of your actual we don't have to write these two parentheses just what x plus y over 5 is okay but this is okay too, but our mathematical rule, if we have one factor, we don't use, okay, parentheses. <clears throat> that is our mathematical rule. Better part of the mathematical rule, right? But this is also okay too, but actually, not mathematical rule, okay? Use this one. Okay, uh, also, uh, this one more time, try this one. This is a difference of cubes. This is a difference cube is a 4 to the third power, 64. The first will be minus, follow the same sign, x minus 4, isn't it? Second one is x squared. This is minus, the next is a plus. Always multiply this to is a 4x, and the plus negative 4 squared is a positive 16. That's it. That's the difference of cubes. How can you factor this one? <coughs> if you got the right factor of this one, maybe you can switch it, doesn't matter. x squared minus 7x and plus. Better use this one, that's easier to get the right factors. You can switch, you can rearrange descending order, right? Which is a standard form. How can you factor? x minus 3 and x minus 4. Uh, that is, we complete the factors and cancel it out. Check it out. Where is the common factors? X minus 4 and X minus 4 common. Yes. Out. If this can be factored anymore, no. This is our final. When you factor what? Sum and difference of cubes, second parenthesis is what? Final. Always. Don't try to factor. So x squared plus 4x and plus 16 over x minus 3 is our final answer.
Number six, challenge questions. Because we have an exponent in terms of what? Some, another variable there, 2a. But it doesn't matter, it's the same things. You can take this one. xa equals what? Nah, you're going to use a k. This times x to the a square, that equals how much? x to the what? Multiplication 2a, right? This is not a squared, okay? Don't be confused. This one is a power of power is a multiplicate that is looks like 2a. <coughs> it's okay. So actually this is a k square, right? Same things. So this is a three times k square. Minus x to the k minus two over denominator is what? K square minus one. Maybe you can replace okay with k. Now what is the common factor numerator? You can try an error because we have only one, one way, 3k and k, right? How can you find the negative k there? Minus 1 and plus 2, isn't it? That is a try and error. Or you have to follow what? Definitions to find what two numbers. And denominator is k minus 1 and k plus 1. Where is the common? k minus 1, k minus 1 out. We just got what? 3k plus 2 over k plus 1. That's our final? No, we replace with x to the a in the k, okay? Because that's original. We just borrowed k. So k is what is that? 3 times x to the a and plus 2. Over k equals what? 3 to the a plus 1. That is our final answer. Which one is und undefined for this variable w equals 3? So, can you make a right, uh, denominator 0 with w is 3? 3 plus 1 is not 0. 5 times 3 is not 0. Over here, this one is about w minus 3. Oh, this one is 0. This one will be undefined when w is equal 3, okay? Now, the next one we're going into now, this is our main topics. One of the main topics is piling long polynomial long divisions. Why we use long divisions? Not only one terms. This is only one numbers. 28, 47. Number is very each one. You guys know this already. 5 over here, 25, and uh, 44, and uh, 8 over this one, there's a 40, and 47. Yeah, 47 is greater than 5. You still can divide the numbers 9 times. 45. Now this one is what? less than Five. Less than five means less than five means this is remainder. This is not remainder because this 47 is greater than five. Smaller than 45, five, that is remainder. This number we set the dividend <coughs> inside divisions. This number is called what divisors. I'm going to write down over here divisors. Positive divisors. That is dividend. What is this one? Quotient. And remainder is 2. I'm going to write the quotient is 589. Remainder is 2. Is okay? You must memorize the vocabulary of knowledge. Okay, maybe express this one, 200, uh, 2,400, they can be expressed, divisor, times, quotient, and plus what, remainder. It's okay. But sometimes we can divide by 5, you can keep the uh, divisor in denominator. 247, that's one of the expressions. The other expression looks like this one. You're going to keep the right variable uh, divisor in denominator. You can divide by 5, right, both sides. 2,147 divided by 5 is this one. Divided by 5 is, five is out, you got what? 589. That's your quotient only. Over here, 2 over 5. 
This is we said what that AX plus PQ over, I'm sorry, PX over QX form. This one we use, okay, this form. This is the quotient, this is this form. But two is the remainder, right? This is divisor. But you want to keep the divisor in your denominator, you can use this one. No, we don't want to use the right, divisor 5 at denominator. Now you can use this one. We have two choices. Now we're going to apply this division using what? Polynomial functions. But this polynomial function is very interesting properties there. Take a look over here. This is the wrong divisions because many terms are not only one terms, like when numeric numbers. You can make any terms. <coughs> Dividend index right inside 4x squared minus 7x minus 2. Divisor x minus 2. This is long division with the what? Variable. Our goal is just eliminate by the highest terms of here. Highest terms, the highest degree. x squared is degree to highest degree. First, we're going to eliminate 4x squared. How can you make it 4x squared from here? x times this one, the highest, the highest. 4x, the x times one number is 4x squared. You have to find, okay? <coughs> How many x is there? 4x squared divided by x is about 4x, okay? You multiply 4x there, you get what? 4x times x is now. <coughs> 4x squared. That equals, when you subtract, it's going to be out. It's okay. You are done. But we still have addition over here. <coughs> so we have to take care of this one too. We cannot neglect this one. Negative 2 times 4x is a negative 8x. We still, to eliminate, but we still have right negative 8x there. That's no choice. Subtract. Division is subtract. Okay, I'm going to write down here, subtract. 4x is canceled out. Negative 7x minus minus is what? Negative 7x minus minus 8x equals to what? Negative 7x plus 8x is 1x, okay? 1x is just x. But this is going down. That's nothing there, minus 2. But when you take a look up here, to eliminate, because this is degree 1, degree 1, it's equal, same degree, we continue until we got the what? Lower degree 1 which is a constant, okay? This one kind of a numerical number. We have still have a 5 divided by 5. We can divide there. So to limit this one, we add 1 over here. 1 times x is about x, but still 1 times negative 2 is about 2. When you subtract, that is 0. Remainder is 0. <coughs> okay? So you can say quotient quotient equals to 4x plus 1 and the remainder is 0 or well, just the remainder constant you can use only r equals 0 that's fine you can answer this way or 4x squared minus 7x express this one equals how much quotient and times divisor I'm going to divide the first okay divisor is x minus 2 times quotient 4x plus 1 and remainder is 0. You don't have to write down 0. Just lock out. You want to keep the one negative 2 denominator. Yes, you can keep the ne negative 2 denominator. You can express this one too. x minus 2. This one, how it looks like it? This is out, right? So 4x plus 1. That's it. You have two different expressions. <coughs> Remember this one, when they have remainder is 0, this one is, what is that? Product form, right? This is product form. 
if you got the product form, each term is called what is that? Factor. This is a factor. This is a factor. Whole thing is a factor too. Because they are product. When you have a number 12 up here, this is 1 times 2 product. There are no other numbers. But in this case, we said 1 is a factor of 12. 12 is also a factor of 12. Also, at 2 and 6 product form. There is no remainder. Just the remainder is 0. In this case, we can say that 2 is a factor, 6 is a factor, or 3 is a factor, 4 is a factor. This is a product. That means what? f of x is a factor of this polynomial. 4x plus 1 also a factor of this one. Especially this is 4x plus 1 is what? Quotient. <coughs> okay, the next one. Oh, you're going to divide. You're going to keep the, this one. Divide it plus 6 over here. Using long divisions. All right? Or you can use a common factor. It's okay too. If you factor this one, it, it, this can be factored. Okay, check it out anyway. Maybe a uh, method one, maybe you can try factoring <coughs> to find the common factor, right? What is that? 2x and x. How can you find the 5? This is a 5, this is a 4. This is a correct? That is a 14x, not 15x. That's not working. No more. Because this is not, cannot be factored. This one cannot be factored. So we can use by right, cross out common factor. So what are you going to do? You want to leave it this way? No, there must be some remainder. It doesn't matter. Just to use what? Long division. Because what? Factoring is not working. We need to go the next one is what? Long division. This is long division. <coughs> 2x squared plus 15x and plus 20 and divisor is 6. We're going to express this one, okay? Equal, okay? First of all, to get 2x squared, you multiply times 2x over here. x times 2x is 2x squared, right? Our first goal is we take about the first number, 2x squared. But when you have a 2x, we still have 6 times 2x plus 12x. Minus 15x minus 2x is 3x plus 20. Now check out the first term, highest degree. <coughs> 3x and x. Still we can go, right? Because it has the same degree. So that is 3x plus 18. Minus is 2. Now this is degree 0, this is degree 1, this is remainder. Just before in numeric number, this number is what? Less than divisor, that's the remainder. In polynomial division, long division, this number is what? Degree is less than divisor. This is degree 1, this is degree 0, right? Constant number is degree 0. It looks like this one. 2x squared, that is 2, right? Degree 0. No more. That's a final. That is the remainder. <clears throat> so we're going to keep this one. You're going to keep this one, what is that? Quotient plus Remainder over x plus 6. This is why ax plus px over qx pop, right? This is a quotient. This is remainder. <coughs> I'm going to do this r. It's okay. This is a quotient. You still keep the dividers like this one. But this is actually remainder, okay? This is a remainder. Not 2 over x plus 6 is the remainder, okay? <coughs> because we have the remainder over here, this one cannot be factored. Factored means what? The remainder is 0. No remainder. 0 means what? No remainder. Nothing. They are divided by evenly, okay? But, so that's why we cannot cancel it out. Because we cannot express it in product form. We cannot have a product form is what this numerator cannot be factored. The next one over here. Qx plus Rx, they use this one. Qx is what? Quotient. Oh, they use the Q, kept uh, the first letter. And the Rx is what remainder and G of X. G of X is what divisor. So we're going to divide, okay? So 3x squared and uh, 
7x and minus 20. That is f of x and divided by x minus 2. You got the what? qx and plus rx over g of x. This is quotient. Now using long divisions, because that is not factored, we don't know. We just use long divisions. 3x squared plus 7x and minus 20. Divisor is x minus 2. The first quotient should be what? 3x, right? To eliminate 3x squared. 3x times x is what? 3x squared. 3x minus 2 is what? Negative 6x. And subtract. <coughs> when you subtract, that is what? 7x, this is out. 7x minus minus is what? 7x plus 6x, 13x, and minus still going down, negative 20. You still degree 1, degree 1, we continue to factor, right? We continue to divide, plus 13. So this is a 13x and minus 26. When you subtract up here, negative 20 minus minus 26 is positive 6. This is degree 0. Divide the degree 1 linear factor. This is the remained. This is the remained. Rx. <coughs> this is the quotient. Qx. So, after this one equals how much? 13x plus 13. And plus Rx is 6. Still we have a dividers. This one can be expressed exactly like this one. <coughs> It's okay. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna have a time is it? Okay, still that's okay. Okay, we have okay this one I think you guys can do that, okay? All right, this one is, uh, okay, x squared plus 2x, this is very simple questions, okay? You can do this one. Or you can, x squared, because that is not factored, they're going to have some remainder, x minus 3. I'm going to keep this one. x squared minus 3x, and the subtract is, what, well, 5x minus 5, we still have plus 5 over here, 5x minus 50, when you subtract over here, 10, that's the remainder, uh, this one. Quotient x plus y plus remainder is 10. We still keep the what? Divide, okay? x minus 3. This is exactly equal to this one. x squared plus 2x minus 5 over x minus 3. This is equivalent. <coughs> okay, move on to the next one. It's the same things. Try this one one more, okay? We have two homework there. That is not much. Okay, this is the same things. 2x cubed, okay? This is always a linear factor, okay? That's fine. You can use long divisions. Now the next one. Long divisions again. Oh, wow. So much. <coughs> okay, now we have a px. When px divided by x minus 1, we got the y this one and this one. That is your quotient is y x squared plus 7. That is your quotient. And plus 5 over x minus 1. x minus 1 is divisor. But we're going to express what? Px. This one x only. How? Times x minus 1 both sides. So p of x equals to how much? Divisor times quotient. And x minus 1 times x minus 1. Now remainder is a 5. That's it. But that's when you find the standard for Stand out from the descending order, okay? Expand this one. x times x squared is y x cubed. 7 times x is 7x. The next foil inside, negative x squared and negative 7 and plus 5. We have like terms over there. Out there, no like terms. This one is about highest degree to x to the third power, second degree x to the square, and the 7x. And this two is about like terms, constant, minus 2. This is a descending order. That's a standard point. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, this is savage before, okay? By this time, divider is what? Degree 2. Okay, we can try this one. We just do this one, degree 1, but we can do this one. It's just, it doesn't matter the same as before. But already, we can use the divisions, already this standard form, okay? Descending order. This is what? Not descending order. You're going to change it. 3 to the x4. The next is a cube. The next one is a minus x squared term. The next one is by x terms. The last one is a constant. Always your range is standard form. You cannot put this one directly over here. That's wrong. G of x is standard form already. Now simplify. The first limit 3x to the power, we multiply 3x squared, right? <coughs> now 3x power. 2x times 3x is what? 6x cubed. 2 times 3x is what? Plus 6x squared. Subtract. This out. x cubed minus 6x cubed minus 5x cubed. Minus 5x squared minus 6x squared is minus 11x squared. But that's nothing, just 2x plus 3 is moved down. Now the next one should be eliminated negative 5x cubed. So you multiply over here negative 5x to make right cube numbers. So negative 5x times x squared is negative 5 cubed. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x squared. 2 times negative 5x is negative 10x. Subtract. Negative 11x plus 10 is about negative x squared. And this one, 2x minus minus 10, 2x plus 10x is 12x and plus 3. Still degree 2, degree 2, we continue to divide. Same degree numbers, the next degree is 1, right? Times 1. When you multiply times 1 to the divisor, you got this one, minus x squared minus 2x minus 2. When you subtract over here, this is out, 12x minus minus 14x and plus 5. This is degree 1, this is degree 2, this is the remainder, that's why in terms of x. Function of x, right? <clears throat> so this form, quotient and remainder of a divisor, that means this is, we said, sometimes quotient <coughs> and remainder over divisor form. Okay? So that form is why you can use, okay, this form. This form is f of x over g of x. Or you can replace the x over here. This is x. This is y divider. Okay, this is the quotient. This is what is 3x squared. Okay, this one equals 3x squared and minus 5x minus 1. And plus, this is the remainder. And we need to keep the what still bad uh, the, num, uh, the divider there. That's it. We keep the divider in denominator. That's why we need the divisor below the remainder. Okay, that's it. That's the same thing. <clears throat> okay, uh, you can try this one. Okay, we can, because we gotta go synthetic. Ah, oh, they are divisor. Find the px is what is that? px over x minus 3, that is equals to x plus 5 is a quotient, and the plus 10 is a remainder. We still keep the one divide, right? So to find the px times x minus 3 to the both sides. So x minus 3 equals what? x minus 3 times x plus 5, and x minus 3 is out plus 10. You can simplify in standard form, okay? That's the same thing. Okay, a lot of percentage, too much. <coughs> Keep going. The next one. That's the answer key there, okay? The next one is the remainder term. This is our second main topic today. What is the remainder theorem? Okay, now divide this one. When you divide this one, 2x cubed plus 4x squared and plus 5x and minus 1 divisor is x minus 3. <laughs> okay, 2x. Mm -hmm. 
2 x squared, right? So 2 x cubed minus 3 x squared. Oh, no, no. 2 x times 3 is what? 6 x squared. Subtract. 4 x squared minus minus 10 x squared. If you guys need to go write some bathroom, okay? You can go, okay? Without say anything. Plus 5x and minus 1. So to eliminate 10x from x, we multiply what 10x there. Okay, so that is a 10x squared minus 30x. When you subtract over here, that is 35x and minus 1. We still have degree 1, we continue the times 35. That is a 35x and minus 105 when you subtract over here, 104. That is now degree 0, that is our final remainder. So actually this one, I'm going to write this one. This P of X. <coughs> this P of X equals how much? 2X cubed plus 4X squared plus 5X minus 1 can be expressed. Divisor X minus 3, but quotient there. 2X squared plus 10X plus 5. Uh, 10x my, uh, plus 35 and the remainder is 104 but we got the remainder but this is not perfect right product form from here what can you say x minus 3 a factor no x minus 3 is not a factor of p of x this one this one because that is not product we still have a remainder there okay if remainder is zero, for example, we assume the remainder, we assume this is remainder zero. So what is the P of X? P of X, 2X cubed. So I'm trying this one. This one is exactly equals what? X minus 3 and 2X squared plus 10X plus 35. Remainder zero, we assumed. This is a product form. Okay? This is a product form. So this is what? x minus 3 is now you can say x minus 3 is a factor of p of x okay you can say it this way x minus 3 is a factor of p of x okay another one is the remainder theorem when you have this one we got the, this one okay uh p of x <coughs> i'm gonna write down over here p of x equals to 2x cubed plus 4x squared and plus 5x and minus 1 equals to x minus 3 and 2x squared. I'm going to use this as the qx. Same thing, okay? This is a quotient, qx. And the next one is the remainder. R. Remainder is 1 upon, but we don't know this is the remainder is R. From here, we're going to find the remainder without using what? Long divisions. From here, we are going to find <coughs> remainder without using long division. We don't care about like quotient. We don't care. Just our concern is the remainder. How much is the remainder? Left hand side. Right hand side, when you simplify exactly by same expressions, it's gonna be when you probe here quotient, it's gonna be equal to this one. So left hand side, right hand side, they have a same expression. So this equation is called the identical. Left hand side, right hand side, exactly equal expressions. We said the equation is identical. When the equation is identical, looks like this. I'm going to use simple expression, okay? x plus 2 equals x plus 2. When you simplify, left hand side, right hand side, they all have the right, same expression. I agree with you, right? What that means? Same expression means for, for any value of x. For all value of x, you're going to print any value of x. The equation is always true. Left hand side equals right hand side, always equal numbers. x is a 2. 2 plus 2 equals 2 plus 2. x equals 0. 
0 plus 2 equals 0 plus 2 for any value of x. From here, take a look inside of here. This is the right hand side. We, we don't have to concern, okay? Quotient is not our concern. Our concern is only R. Quotient is not consolidated. Left hand side, right hand side are identical. For some special value of x, we can make this is zero. For what value of x? To make a zero is what? Three. 3 minus 3 equals 0. 0 times qx is always 0 by using 0 product. So, for special value, some for special value of x equals 3, <coughs> left hand side, right hand side, they should have the same number of outcomes. The result must be equal. Result must be if, if, if x is a 5, 7 equals 7. Same numbers. Okay, put this number in there. P over 3. I'm going to test it. P over 3. P over 3 is how much from here? 2 times 3 cubed is 27. 4 times 3 square is 9. 5 times 3 and minus 1. That is the left hand side result. What is the right hand side result? This is 0. Only we got only R. That must be equal to R. From here, you can say P over 3 is R. This is the remainder cell. <coughs> this is the remainder cell. What that means? What it means? When you divide by X minus 3, that means what? When P of X is divided by X minus 3, that's a factor, right? That's why you put user 3 over here. The remainder is P over 3. That's it. That's the remainder. How much is this one? This is a 54. This is a 36. And this is a 15 and minus 1. How much is this one? 104, right? That's right. Same remainder. <coughs> That's the remainder cell. When you have a PX, I'm going to write down remainder cell one more time. What is the remainder? When P of X, some polynomial is divided by x minus a. That's already a linear factor, okay? <coughs> not x squared. Not 2x. Only 1x, okay? Only coefficient of 1, x minus a. This is a linear factor. When p of x divided by x minus a, the remainder is always of P of A. That is the remainder theorem. You have to memorize this one. What is the remainder? F over 3. Or, what that means? F over 3 means what? 3, right? Okay, we got this 104. So if we have this one. <coughs> F of uh, 5 equals to 10. If you got this one. So you can, okay? Polynomial if you have f of x. But f of 5 is 10, what that means? When f of x, this polynomial is divided by what factor? x minus 5. The remainder is 10. That's the meaning. Another one. If we have a negative 3 equals to 5. Can you translate this one? When f of x is divided by x minus minus to x plus 3. That's a factor, right? That's why when you probe here, x minus 3 is going to be 0.
the remainder is 5. Okay? Now we have this one. <coughs> What's the remainder? If you have uh, f of x equals uh, 2x cubed minus 5, we're going to divide by this one by what? I'm going to do this one. Long division 2x cubed plus minus 5. I'm going to divide by this x plus 2. What's the remainder? We don't care about the qx. Quotient, we don't care. If you want to find the qx, you have to use long divisions. So qx is not our concern. Our concern is only what is the remainder. In this case, we use remainder theorem. You don't have to use long divisions. What's the remainder? Instead of x, you probe your negative 2. Put this negative 2, that's the remainder. f of negative 2, how much? Put this number 2 there. Remainder value equal to the value of this one when x equals negative 2. 2 times negative 2 cubed minus 5, that's the remainder. How much is that? Negative 16 minus 5 equals 1, negative 21 is the remainder. When you have a remainder is zero, stay with time. <coughs> What that means, and some polynomial function, if you have a equals zero, that means that this is remainder is now zero. What is that? This one divided by x minus a, right? The p of x can be expressed this one. p of x equals to divider times quotient remainder is zero. Remainder is nothing. What happens over here? This is a product form x minus a is a factor. Now you can say x minus a is a factor over px because that's a remainder is zero. So we have, a, we have this one. <coughs> How can you describe p of a equal zero? When? Maybe you can say when p of x is divided by x minus a, the remainder is zero. You can say this way too. But this remainder zero, finally you can say x minus a. This factor is a factor of Px because the remainder zero that is a product form times this one. So what is that? <coughs> factor theorem is a very special case of what remainder theorem. Special remainder is zero. That linear factor is a factor of polynomial. That is a factor theorem. Over here, which binomial is a factor? Which binomial is a factor? How can you find this one? Maybe you can try this one, find the right factor, okay? You can factor this one, you can factor. x squared minus x squared minus 4, first two, last two is y, x minus x minus 2. <coughs> Inside is what is the x squared? x minus 2, x plus 2, 4, x minus 2. x minus 2 minus 2 is what factor, right? Out, move out, inside what you got. Still, x squared times x plus 2 and minus 4. This is a factor you can do this way. <coughs> But we got to use what? Factor theorem. This is a right divisor, kind of divisor, linear factor. <coughs> If this is a factor, this one can be expressed what is that? x minus 2 and quotient. That's it. What that means? Remainder is zero, right? How can you find the remainder? You have to check. Remainder zero or not? That's our goal. What's the remainder when x divided by uh, 1 p of x is divided by x minus 2? Put this number x is 2 in there. 
This is P of 2. How much? 2 to the 4th power is 16 times 4 times 2 second power is 4 and plus 4 times 2 and plus is this 0? Yes, that is 0. So this is a factor. Because the remainder is 0. Looks like this way. But this one. x plus 2 qx is still uh, remainder is 0. Check it out. p of negative 10 this time to make x is 0 is what? Negative 2, right? The, uh, to make right linear factor is 0. Put this negative 2 in there, or how much? Still 16. And the minus is what? 2 squared is for still 16. And the negative 4 is a positive 8 plus 8. But this 0, that is a 16. Remainder is a 16. When they express this one, it looks like this way. Plus a 16. So this one cannot be factor. This is not working. This is not working. <clears throat> okay, g of x is divided by x minus 4. This is divisors, but remainder 0. Yeah, that's a factor because the remainder is 0. Because what? This one can be expressed this one, x plus 4, and quotient of x remainder 0. This is a product form. That means why x plus 4 is a factor. But you have to show that Remainder is 0. How can you show that? To make a 0 is x equal to negative 4, right? For this value of negative 4, both sides. G over negative 4, right? This negative 4 plus 4 is 0, that is 0. We have to show it this way. G over negative 4 is 0. Are you guys okay? All right. Now the next one move over here. P of x equals 2x cubed minus 3x plus 5. What is the remainder when you divide by x minus 5? What is the remainder? P of the value of make 0 is what? 5 is the remainder. You don't have to use long divisions. <coughs> remainder is what? P of 5 when x equals 5. Put this number 5 there. 2 times 5 cubed is 125. And minus 3 times 5 and plus 5, that's the remainder. This is 250 minus 15 and plus 5. 240, 35 and plus 5 equals how much? 240 is the remainder. The P of x is 2x cubed plus minus 3x plus 5 can be expressed this way. Divider and the quotient. Quotient, we don't know, we don't care, just the remainder 240. That's it. When x minus 5, the remainder is 240. <coughs> On the graph, you can find this one too. Px is what when divided by negative 4, what is the remainder? Remainder equals how much? P of this is negative 4, right? Negative 4. That's the remainder on the graph. This is P of X graph. On the graph, you can find the value of this one, P, when X equals negative 4. When X equals negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, 0. Remainder is 0. What that means? X plus 4, another word, is a factor of P of X. In other words, you can say this one too, because the remainder is zero. And okay. That's the remainder. If f a equals zero, x minus a is a factor. This is a factor theorem. If a is not zero, f of a is another factor. We cannot say that is a factor because that is a depth expression is not in product. Okay, we're gonna try a little more homework over here, okay? First of all, you're gonna try it together. X minus 3 is a factor. Factor means when remainder is 0. You have to show that remainder is 0. How can you express? F over 3 is 0, we prove. Because the remainder is 0, X minus 3 is a factor of F over X. Show this one. F of 3, how much is this one? 
9 times 3 square is about 27 minus 3 times 9 and plus 7. <coughs> is this a vector? Oops, it can be. 9 times 27 is about 243 and minus 27 and plus 3. So from here, 270 uh, minus 267. That is not equal to 0. This is not a factor. X minus 3 is not a factor. Because we have a remainder. Now the next number of questions say X minus 3 is a factor. <coughs> okay, try remainder 0. M3 over here, because to make a 0, x equals 3, right? When x equals 3, the remainder should be equal to 0, not check it out. 3 cube is 27, 3 square is 9, 5 times 3 is 15, and minus 3. This is 18, another negative 18, that is equal to 0. Yes, the remainder is 0 means what? This is a factor of this polynomial m of x. Because this one, m of x can be expressed, so what is that? x minus 3 divided times some quotient, remainder the factor, that is a product. This is a factor. <coughs> it is okay, right? Okay, I'm going to go with the number 4 over here. x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. That means the remainder should be 0. When you divide by this one by x minus 1, right? So take this as p of x. p of x is 1. 1 minus 1 equals 0. So p of 1 should be 0. We have to prove it this way. Okay, p of 1 is how much? 1 cube is 1. x is 1 is a k. And the plus x is 1 is a 2. It should be equal to 0. For what value of x? k equals 3. Okay? <coughs> All right, number five, watch the remainder over here. Okay, remainder is equal to what is that? Put this number minus two in there, right? F over two, negative two is the remainder. On the graph, what is the value F over negative two? F over negative two is negative six, that is the remainder. Okay? Instead of using, instead of given by right equations, the graph is given, it doesn't matter, okay? Or sometimes they get a right, uh, table. Now, I'll do, we're going to finish this one, okay? Next time, we're going to do new topics. This is a synthetic division. Synthetic division is a quotient, coefficient operations. <coughs> but this number always what? Linear factor. Coefficient 1. Linear factor, not square, okay? Only synthetic division used for, only can be used by divisor, linear factor. With coefficient a equals to 1. If x minus 3 is okay, that is a linear factor with coefficient is 1. Now, synthetic division is what? That's the formula. Upside down this way. <coughs> Write down the their coefficient x square and the next is the, this is x square coefficient, the next is x square and the x is the constant. But coefficient of x square is 2. Coefficient of x square is 0. Oh, we're going to read there, okay? Don't forget this one because there is no x terms. This is, there is x terms, but coefficient is 0. That's why it's out. Coefficient of x is negative 4. Constant is 3. That's the first one. Now, right after over here, the, put this number x, <coughs> which makes 3, 0, okay? x equals 3 over there, right? So 3 up here. Now, the first one. This one is move down. That's untouchable. Don't take anything. Don't take any action on number 2. This is untouchable. Very dangerous guy. Just twist down.
Second one is what? Three times to go to over here, next one, okay? This is nothing. The next one over here, we're going to write three times to is six over here. Place over here. Three times to is six, okay? Don't forget this one. <coughs> but this synthetic division is what? Different from long division. Long division, you need to subtract, but this one is addition. That's the difference. 0 plus 6, not 0 minus 6, okay? Always a plus. This is always a plus 6. Now, same as before, 3 times 6 is 18, and the plus is 14. 3 times 14 is 42, and plus is 45. The last number is the remainder. What is this one? This is it was before x cube, but the divided by linear, this one should be coefficient of what? The one lower than this number, x squared. This is x squared term, this is x term, this is constant term there. So what is the quotient? Yeah, that's the quotient. 2x squared and plus 6x and plus 14 is the quotient. <coughs> so long division. <coughs> <coughs> and synthetic division give us both quotient and remainder both both to information you can get remainder is how much constant 45 it's okay that is a synthetic divisions we're gonna have a one more practice over here this is synthetic division remember coefficient should be equals to one a is a one x print must be equals to 1. Linear. x squared plus 3. In this case, that's not linear. In this case, you better use yeah, long division. Only synthetic is allowed to use coefficient is 1 with why x print is 1. We're going to have a one more practice over here. Up here. Almost done. Okay. Divide. Evaluate j minus 1. Okay. <coughs> what is the j minus 1? j minus 1 is when you divide by x plus 1, right? x minus 1 is x plus 1. Okay. We're going to find what? The answers tells you about x plus 1 is, oh, this is a factor zero. We don't care about, okay, what is the quotient. Is this a factor or not? To be a factor, remainder is zero. This is a linear factor. To make a zero, uh, zero is what? x equal negative. That's why we put a negative one. Okay? J minus one equal zero, remainder is zero. That is what? Factors. So this one. <coughs> J or negative one equals how much? Two to the one, negative one to the fourth power is still two. Negative 1 cube is negative 1. Another negative 1 is a positive 1. And the minus 35. And the minus 1 is a negative 16. They are negative 16, right? And plus 48. Check it out. This is 3. Positive number is 51. Negative number is negative 51. Plus minus 0. Yes. J of negative 1 equals 0. The remainder zero, so x plus one is a factor of jx. So you can say x plus one is a factor jx. Cause what? This is true. Show that. So we're gonna have some uh, one more synthetic divisions. Okay, that's all. Almost done. Okay. Okay. This is a factor of this already. It said that the factor. <coughs> so we're gonna find all remaining factors. This is already one factor over here. The other factor we're gonna use what? Divide. You can use long division or synthetic division. I'm going to use synthetic division, okay, to find the other factors. X to the 4 is a 2. X to the cube is negative 1. 
x square is a negative 35 and 16 and last is 48 the number to make it zero negative 1 don't touch this is 2 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2 you can add a negative 3 negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3 add this one negative 32 negative 1 times negative 30 is a positive 32 when you add this is a 48 Negative 1 times 48 is a negative 48 when you add this word 0. That remainder is 0. So that means why x plus 1 is a factor. So this one j of x equals to 2x to the 4 minus x cubed minus 3, 5x squared and the plus 16x and plus 48 can be factored this way. x plus 1, but the other one we don't know. <coughs> we just got what this is a factor, right? But the other fact, where is it? Here. Because remember, this is what is it? 2x cubed, right? 4 minus 1 is a cube. This is what? 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 32x and plus 48. That is it, the other factors. This one can be break into another factors. Yes, you can do that using what? Grouping. 2x cubed, 3x squared is what? x squared is a comma, right? Inside the number is 2x minus 3. Over here, 16 is a comma, minus 16, 2x minus 3. From here to here, okay? So 2x minus 3 is a comma, 2x minus 3 is out. Inside is what? x squared minus 16. But we have to show all linear factor, right? The smallest one factor. This also what is that? 2x minus 3. Second factor is what? Difference of two squares is going to factor this way. x minus 4 and x plus 4. Wow, this one is what? Broke into three linear factor because the x axis of the linear degree is 1. So this is finally equals what is that? x plus 1, 2x minus 3, x plus minus 4. And x plus 1, they are all factors of jx. Factor, 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 factor. You have to show this way. <coughs> okay. So over here, uh, I'm going to show you solving this page, lesson 7. Okay, if you have time, try to solve this one all homework. You, have, you need to write the practice. They are what? We did already. Okay? We're going to have a, a brief review for the next time after this. So we're going into new topics. Okay? Alright, I think that's all today. You guys have any questions? So you let me know right now. It is okay? Say something? You guys have any uh, questions about this? Synthetic division, long division, remainder serum, factor serum. We did today long division. Synthetic division. <coughs> and remainder serum. And factor serum. You guys figure out this one more time after class. Okay, I'm going to send out this class note to you, okay? That might be help to understand. I'm going to save this one and send out to you, okay? And also, if you need help, I'm going to put this recording on YouTube because of some other students are absent today. Okay, I'm going to probe here and send out together and video link and class note. Okay, maybe I have another class. Uh, I'm going to finish today around the 9 o'clock or no, no, 10 o'clock. Uh, between some class, if I have time, I'm going to send out. If not, maybe it's going to be uh, after 10 p.m. today. Okay. All right. So I'll see you next time. Thank you.